What's up guys, Brandon with Street Trucks here and our 2023 Sierra project truck officially showed up. Let's check it out. So here we have our 2023 GMC Sierra 1500 elevation. Uh, the elevation trim gives you the black trim, gives you the painted bumpers, the blacked out grill and headlights. Eliminates all the chrome that some of the other models have, which is what I wanted because I would have painted the chrome, got rid of it anyway. The headlights are, like I said, black from the factory. Those will be sent to Retro Shop and those will be color matched. We will also have Clears Manufacturing handle these orange markers. We will probably do smoked lenses. May do clear, haven't decided yet. He actually has to produce those off of these headlights. Then they will be in production after that. We'll be doing the illuminated GMC emblem in the grill when we pull all that apart. As you can see, there's still plastic on it, still dirty. Had the dealership not touch it when it came in. Figured we would just clean it ourselves and not worry about the dealership scratches that usually come on them. All the emblems will be pulled to give it a cleaner look. Have the painted factory fender trim on it has the multi-pro tailgate. Of course, all the rear emblems will be, will be pulled for a much cleaner look. Has the factory spray and bed liner. Has the multi-pro tailgate. I will be doing a undercover bed cover uh, tri-fold, which is the ultra flex. Be doing that cover on the, on the bed. And I actually have a bed mat from bed rug to go in it allows the trunk or the bed to almost be like a trunk with the carpet in it, but yet you can pull it if you're gonna haul mulch or whatever and not have to worry about it. On the inside, all the factory plastic that came from the plant is still in it. I told them leave everything. I will take care of all that myself. This thing has the, the new refresh dash so it's the 13.4 inch screen in it. All digital display. We still have the factory all weather floor mats in the boxes in the rear. I won't be using those. We have Husky liner mats that are already, already here to, to go in it, which are a much better fit than the, actually than the factory ones. In the rear, we have the factory black leather. Every bit of that will be pulled out. Uh, there will be all red road wire leather interior going in it. Kind of brighten the interior up. We'll be doing some other touches like a suede and leather headliner to kind of change it up, make it a little classier. Some new door, door pods for the speakers. MTI is doing a box for 212s and they're doing some pillar pods so we can throw some Memphis Audio speakers in the dash. This does have the factory three liter Duramax diesel. We figured this time we would go with a diesel. Uh, seems to be the, the, way, the way some of these trucks are going now. The diesels get way better gas mileage and being this truck will be driven from North Carolina to Las Vegas for SEMA this year for the Drop Stars Wheels booth. Figure we'll see what kind of gas mileage we get. And of course, we'll be keeping you guys updated if it really does get the 28 to 32 miles a gallon. I have friends with the same engine in a Suburban, and they said with the cruise set, it's getting like 34 miles a gallon. We will be doing a Beltec 4 6 drop on this with the notch in the rear, switch suspension helper bags, airlift company, uh, wireless one controller. There will be onboard air, thanks to Vi Air. We have, uh, have horn blasters, Shocker XL horns going in it. There's quite a bit, quite a bit of little, uh, little details we will be adding. So follow along here on YouTube and in the magazine with some of the, some of the stuff we have going for it. We'll keep you guys posted.